Our guy here this morning, we are going to change the coolant outlet temperature sensor on the BMW E60. This is a particular model is a 525 2007. And the reason we're changing the coolant outlet temp sensor is because of wanting the fan to operate, uh, I'd say better. The fan has been waiting until the vehicle's very warm and then coming on. Now, if you look down right in between there, you'll see that little plug. That is the coolant outlet temp sensor. It's in the hose, leaving the radiator. And it's very, very simple to change. So quick process, we're gonna do this. One, we're doing this with the car dead cold. So this is first thing in the morning. The car, the engine coolant temp is cold. First things first, I've put a catch can to catch any coolant that's gonna leak out. I've also relieved the pressure by taking the radiator cap off, but then putting it back on. So what I don't want is I don't want any pressure in the cooling system, but I want the radiator cap on because I want it to create a vacuum to limit how much fluid is lost during this process. New, new sensor, this just snaps into place. It has an O-ring on the bottom. It's a little hard to see. I've got my light set up down there. There's just the one wire clip that when you go to remove the wiring, you're just gonna simply press on that silver wire and then pull up, pop the wiring right off. Then you'll squeeze the tabs on either side of the coolant temp sensor. Simply pull it right out. Put your new coolant temp sensor in the hole. And make sure that it goes in and engages positively. locks into place that's the most important thing if it doesn't lock then we got problems i know it's hard to see with my big hand in the way and then just reconnect our wire by pressing it right over the coolant temp sensor on this model and there you have it i can get my light out here we have the new outlet temp sensor installed probably lost a minimal amount of coolant I'll try to get you where you can see that a little better when i say minimal we've lost maybe a cap full of coolant out of this thing so new sensor is in it's locked into place a Engaged it, made sure that it was solid by tugging on it. Here's our old sensor up and out of the way. Hopefully we'll see a better progression with the coolant fan as we go forward. This is your car guy, simple fix.